Good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Pisces, by the time you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. How are y'all feeling today? How are you doing? Thank you so much for your like and sharing my content. Thank you so much. To new viewers, cross watchers, please come on in. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else, okay? Reverse the roles how they fit in your life. I don't know your life, so you're going to have to reverse the roles how they fit in your life, all right? I do need you to stay with me. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all of my readings, beautiful souls. So, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you today. Let's see what's in your energy. Mm, you're not alone, happiness. You're not alone, happiness. Some of you are feeling alone, okay? Tell me more, spirit guys. Intuition. Thank you. Perseverance. Okay, so I feel like whatever you just, whatever you've been going through, whatever you just coming out of a dark place, okay? Or some of you um, have been through a lot or you're going through this right now. You feel like you're all alone. But Spirit Guides are saying you're not alone. You're actually headed towards your happiness and also your intuition. You know, you're becoming your higher self. And sometimes when you are, some of you are going through the dark night of the soul. And sometimes when you're going through the dark night of the soul. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure I got this right. When you're going through the dark night of the soul, you're going to feel lonely. It's going to feel very lonely, okay? Um, because you are, you are definitely shedding off things that no longer supposed to be in your life okay you're raising your vibration so yes you may feel alone or you felt alone through during this during this dark time but pisces you are you are you're not alone sweetheart we all have to go through that we all have to face that okay um it's just preparing you for your happiness for it's just preparing you for you know to become stronger in your intuition to see things for see people and things for what they truly are i feel like you are glowing i feel like at the time you did not understand what you were going through you was all alone it was dark yes it was it was very dark and you felt alone i i i, I mean you, you you don't have the same friends you used to have you're not in those toxic relationships anymore you're shedding off a lot of low vibrational energies that no longer serves you okay but now I see that your third eye, you're becoming your higher self. You're starting to tap into you. You're starting to tap into that navigation system, that inner gut. You're starting to realize and see, see through your third eye for, for who people really are. And because of that, that creates your happiness. That puts a glow around you because you're no longer settling. You're no longer from a place of settling of how people treat you. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, so yes, that was a very dark, it, that was very dark. The dark night of soul is, is very, very hard for some people. Some people it's not as dark, but for some people it is very dark. It's a lot to shed off. It's a lot to let go of. It's a lot that you were used to that you no longer, it's no longer benefiting you. And it's time, just like a snake, it's time to shed off the old and bring in the new. And so I see that you are definitely glowing. You're definitely becoming your higher self. You are your higher self. I could be talking to a high priestess. Okay, you're definitely in tune with yourself. Your intuition is your navigation system. It's your gut. It's what helps you navigate through life. Okay, so let's see what else going on. Let's get some more energy. Spirit guys, tell me more for Pisces. Some more energy for Pisces. Thank you. Okay, deeper insights are at hand. So it says your overall plan is good. Okay. So something that you're thinking about doing, Spirit God says your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. So it's something that you're working on that you're that you're doing. And Spirit God is in the spirit realm, whoever you believe in, God, whoever you believe in, is saying uh, your plan is good, but um, your details need a little bit more work. It's almost like, you know, you have to go back and pre proofread what you're doing or whatever you're trying to whatever your intentions you're trying to set out into the universe uh just uh go back and retweet that there may be some some tweaks that you need to do tell me more spirit guys for pisces prioritize yourself exactly 
it's all about prioritizing yourself okay so um it says you do so much for others pisces it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you okay so it's time for you to start you know getting a little deeper into loving yourself prioritizing yourself making yourself become first okay you do so much for others all right and um it's time for you to plan for you okay it's time for you to start putting you first and doing things for you what makes you happy okay it's all about happiness it's all about pride it's all about in order for you to help others you got to become you have to be your higher self you have to be in the best health so that whoever or whatever you're trying whoever you're trying to help you have to become your higher self in order to help them so you have to take care of you in order for you to take care of your family your husband your wife your children whatever it is you have to become your higher self you gotta you gotta think about yourself first when you are healthy you'll be able to take care of whoever else but when you don't prioritize yourself and you just run for everybody else then you are depleting yourself and those people that you're happy whoever you happen they're gonna be still here you're gonna be six feet under because you don't you don't you don't depleted yourself where you haven't prioritized your life you understand Spirit guys, tell me more for Pisces. Thank you. It's almost over. Okay? Some of you going through this dark night of the soul, it's almost over. Okay? It is almost over. Okay? You almost, you're almost out of it, sweetheart. Sir, you're almost out of it. It says your current challenges will soon be resolved. And you will be able to look to the future with a smile. So it's almost over. Whatever this is that you've been, you know, this dark night or so, whatever the challenges you've been facing, you felt like you all alone, that is about to be resolved. Spirit God, give me one more card for Pisces. One more card. One more card for Pisces. Thank you. It says take control of your thoughts. Take control of your thoughts, okay? Yeah, it's all about taking control of your thoughts. Okay, it says your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. Okay, it's all about keeping a positive mind, keep it, you know, taking control of your thoughts because you're going to create what you're thinking. That's what it's all about. When you when you think neg negative, that's what happens in your life. You have to watch your thoughts. You have to watch the words that come out of your mouth. Okay, so. Most of all, you know, that's what helps create your happiness and, and being in control and being positive and keeping your vibration up and your frequency up. And that's how you, and being healthy, being prioritizing yourself and being healthy um, um, in all that you do because you do so much for other people. Okay, I could be talking to nurses, doctors, I could be talking to, uh, you do volunteer work, you, you help the homeless, the shelters, you just do, but you forget about you. And Spirit Guides, God said, I need you to focus on you. Because if you can't be your best self, you can't be your best self for your family, for your children, for whoever. So whatever this is that you've been going through, this darkness, it's about to be over. But Spirit Guides want you to be aware of your thoughts. Let's get some inspiration because I'm all about, ooh, that first first card. Y'all see that? The first card popped out? Abundance. First card that popped out is abundance. It says, I attract abundance into my life each day from all possibilities and directions. That's right. When you become your higher self, your intuition, when you prioritize yourself and you uh, 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 focus on you and and controlling your thoughts you create you create in your reality you allow the, the abundance the flow of abundance the flow of peace joy prosperity to enter into your life but you first must prioritize yourself that card popped out spirit guys wanted that out tell me more spirit guys tell me more tell me more for Pisces value exactly the value your value of who you are you see it says i find value in the many opportunities for expansion that i have attracted into my life you find value you are valuable that's why it's important that you prioritize yourself because you are very valuable 
If you're sick, if you're down, you can't help no one else. Spirit guys, tell me more. Four Pisces. Thank you. Ooh, synchronicities is here. Okay. A lot of you may be seeing synchronicities, numbers, signs, symbols, uh, spiritual animals. It says, I invite synchronicity into my life each day, giving proof to the manifestation of my heart's desire. So once you, you if you're seeing synchronicities, that lets you know that your abundance, your prosperity, whatever you, your desire is, it's about to come to fruition. Okay. Whatever you're doing, first spirit guys, God is saying you must first prioritize yourself. Get a massage. You know, take care of yourself. Hot bubble bath. Go get a pedicure, medicure. Go take a vacation. Go do something for yourself. Enjoy the world. Enjoy the earth. Enjoy. Go out into nature. Do something for yourself. Okay? One more card, Spirit Guys, for Pisces. Flexibility. Be flexible. Don't live your life just, just constantly going, 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 going for somebody. It's time for flex. It's time for you to be flexible. Allow the universe, allow God to bring things into your life. But if you all tied up into one thing and just trying to just make, you know, and not prioritizing your life, you cannot allow God or whoever your higher source is to bring in what it is meant for you. It says, I live each day of my life with flexibility, allowing the universe to open up doors. Okay. Sit down. That's my great grandbaby. So, it says, I live each day of my life with flexibilities, allowing the universe to open doors of opportunities. You see what I'm saying? So you have to be flexible in order, you know, and start prioritizing yourself and don't work, 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 work. And if you, and you then you, then you uh, suffocate yourself and then you, you know, you, you, then you start to de 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 deteriorate and you, you won't be no good for, for whatever that you do whatever that you you know your heart's desire and so when you're flexible you allow the universe you're saying okay yes i do this yes this is my passion i love to help people i love to do what i do what i do what i do but at the same time i love myself i'm prioritizing myself today i'm going to do this today is going to be me day today today i'm going to take out time for me for me and so when you do that you allow god you allow the abundance to flow into your life you allow peace and joy and you allow blessings to flow to you but you if you're so tied up into one thing and you're not balancing your life out, you cannot enjoy the beauty of, of your life. So let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, tell me more for Pisces and for Pisces reading. Yes, look. Out with the old, in with the new. You've been through a lot. Okay, that's an old chapter. Okay, that chapter is over with. Sit down to, to stop it. Stop. You're allowing that door shut. Now you're in a new beginning. Okay? Out with the old, in with the new. It's time to prioritize yourself. It's time for you to start living for you as well. It's okay to help other people, but it's time for you to live for you. It's a it's time for you to allow this abundance to flow and you deserve it. You help so much other people. Now it's time for you to experience love. You deserve to let others help you. Tell me more, Spirit Guys, for Pisces. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you have done a lot of healing. You persevered. You've done a lot of healing from a lot of situations. Yeah. You no longer you no longer collaborate with people with arguments and you have taken yourself out of uh, you know a lot of a lot of negative energy, a lot of arguing and fighting being around a lot of toxic energy maybe a relationship you no longer you know you gain clarity that's what you had to go through you think about that a lot but you you gain a lot of clarity and you cut a lot of things out of your life that no longer serve you maybe you cut out a spouse that all y'all done was argue and fight and then, you know a lot of a lot of drama you cut a lot of drama what spirit guides is telling me you cut a lot of drama out of your life Okay. Yeah. Now you 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 got you know you defensive. You protect you protecting yourself. You're 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 empress. Okay. You're empress or emperor. Now you're looking here. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. You're empress. Mm-hmm. You definitely work hard. You work really hard. 
now it's time for you. You the spirit guides, God is about to send you in an uh, investment. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. You have some money. You have some money, a large amount of money coming. You are a star. You've done a lot of healing on yourself. A lot of this healing you did. Happiness is here. 1010. Star card. A lot of happiness. It's time for you to prioritize yourself, Pisces. I don't know who you are, but you've been doing for others now. You know, you know who I'm talking about. It's you, the high priestess. You got it twice. Intuition. You're your higher self now. High priestess. Intuition. Time for you to time for you to love on you. Okay? Patience. Learn it to pour into you. You know, that's what the patient card is all about. Pouring into yourself. Okay, you pour into so many other people. It's time for you to move forward to your, you know, on yourself and love yourself and prioritize yourself. Okay, you are a queen or a king. You hold much value. Okay, it's time. It's time for you to know what love feels like. See, you sowed a lot of seeds. You sowed a lot of seeds in your life, and they're going to ten of pentacles. Okay, let God, let whoever you hire your source. You know, it's time for you. Let others help you. It's time for you to know what it feels like to be loved, to be cared. Okay? This Ten of Pentacles, some of you are about to come into some money. This is Virgo side. You may have Virgo heavy in your chart. Yeah. You're about to be successful. You have some money coming. Okay? There's some money coming towards you. A payout that you've been looking for, a payout is coming. Some of you are recovering from being left out in the cold. There's a payout coming. It's all about you. Spirit guides is saying, God is saying, spend it on you. When this money come, prioritize you. Spend it on you first. Spend it on you first. And it's rushing in. It's coming in sooner than you think. Okay? Knight of, Knight of Swords. Sooner than you can think. It's coming in. And Spirit guides is saying, spend it on you. Then you start thinking about other people. Yep, you're going to be recovering from being left out in the cold. And you manifested this. Some of you manifested in a house. You've been left out in the cold. Some of you manifested a house. It's coming. Okay? But Spirit God says first spend it on yourself. Prioritize yourself. Okay? Yeah, first prioritize yourself. Somebody is feeling guilty that you were dealing with. Somebody's feeling guilty that they lied and manipulated you. They're not having good luck. I want you to know that the will is not turning in their favor. They're having a lot of bad luck. It's when they did what they did to you, they lied, they stole, they cheated. They're having bad luck now. They're getting their justice. Mm -hmm. Judgment is here. Yep, there it is. Judgment. Two of swords. Judgment. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, it could be a fire sign as well. But they're getting their judgment right now of how they done you. You learned the truth. You walked away. Okay? You had to do your dark night of the soul. You went in hermit mode for a while. And now you're in the king of pentacles. You got a lot of stability coming. So whoever this was that did you wrong, you could have been married to this person. If you wasn't married, y'all was up under the same roof. This person is getting their judgment right now as we speak. Yep, and you getting all your wishes is coming true. Look at the bottom of the deck. All your wishes is coming true. Everything you've been wanting, you getting back. Whatever was stolen from you is coming back to you tenfold. Justice. This person is getting justice. And if this person, yeah, is getting their justice. Judgment call is on them. Yep. Absolutely. So, Spirit God said, when you get this money, I need you to prioritize yourself and, and, and spend on yourself before you do anything else. But whoever this was that put you through this hell that you had to do a lot of letting go and a lot of getting away from and, and everything, this person is judgment is hitting them right now. You got judgment and you got justice. Oh, they going through hell right now as I speak. Oh, they got their life is being turned upside down. You, you getting all your wishes. You got the divine. You got abundance coming into your life. But Spirit God said, before you do anything else, I need you to spend it on you. I am Positive Thoughts and Energy Pisces. Until next time.